Hello and welcome to the 54th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at thumbnails. We'll be using the source code from part 6 of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Thumbnails are really cool. As they allow you to showcase or highlight like a linked image or, or some sort of image for example. So like everything else in Bootstrap is really simple to implement. So if we just open it up our index.html file in a text editor and if we scroll down what we're gonna do is actually gonna create another row and put it inside you can put it inside this row put it inside the class with the columns I can recommend that uh, afterwards to see how they react as an extra task so let's do a div close off the div tag and the only class that this is gonna take is row so essentially the same as this so you can have multiple rows as we mentioned earlier in this series. Now inside here we're going to have a div. And what this div is essentially going to be is a column. So I'm going to do class equals column-xs-6. So for, actually I'll explain it in a second. Let me just write this one as well. column dash medium dash free so what this means is for the extra small and the small column we're going to have a column width of six and for medium and large we're going to have three so it goes from top i mean bottom to top so if there are no styles applied or no column columns applied for the larger sizes then if there's a smaller one you'll use that one but they won't propagate down so if you do large is six Medium won't be six per, by definition, but if you do extra small is six and there isn't a specific one for small and medium, then medium will be six. So inside here, what we're going to add is a div. I'm going to add a class of thumbnail. Now inside here, we're just going to add some random text. So, oh. hello, this is very random so hello again and I am Bob so what I'm gonna do is simply copy and paste this as you can see we've got three instances of these so if we save it and now run it you'll see what the thumbnails look like so there we go we have our thumbnails obviously you can use it to highlight some text as we have just done this is basically a bit of styling you can put an image inside it so maybe you've got let's say three or four of these actually let's resize this to show you what happens and as you can see it goes to six now and then when you get to a bigger medium size it goes to three so what you can do is add an image in there maybe it's showcasing a product and it resizes really well or maybe you want to add some text and an image maybe a title an image maybe a little description just a small abstract so that's what you can do with thumbnails the next tutorial will cover alerts if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk all the required source code will be in the description to see hundreds of more videos like this one actually over 800 free educational videos visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day